Will be saying some bhajans on Nityananda Prabhu? Huh? He's too cold, he said, so he won't come. Oh? Who? <laughs> okay, which is the first song that you want to sing? Any preference? Da Char Pachi song, bro. What do you say? Akrona Parma. Yeah. 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 is very never angry. For we use a personification of supreme transcendental bliss, devoid of any concept of false ego. Nitya wonders about the town. Going from the door to door in his residence of the most fallen and ranged souls, he freely distributes the gift of the Harinamya Mantra. Mahamantra. He claims to who, whomever he sees while holding Swabhati in state, please purchase me by worshipping Gaurari. Saying the Nikan Prabhu rolls about on the ground, appearing like a golden mountain tumbling in the dust. Nuchan Das Thakur says, whoever has not experienced the awakening of affection for such an avatar as this, that such a person simply comes and goes, uselessly in the circle of Ujjita Bhaktivinoda. Akarodha Parmananda Nityananda Rai Akarodha Parmananda Nityananda Rai Adama Patati Tajimi Havadi Tadi Tia 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 Adi Mama Mama Hari <laughs> Amare <laughs> I <laughs> Uh, 
Voice is breaking for everyone. Can I turn off my video? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Now it's coming, Prabhuji. Like uh, the whole song, first time we heard, second time, like after first stanza, like we cannot hear anything, Prabhuji. That speaker is being loud. Kirtan. 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 Kirtan
Gauranga Bolite Habe Gauranga Bolite Habe Ah, 
ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತೀಸ್ವಾಪದಿಕಂದೇಹಂಶ್ರೀಗುರುಜಾತಾ ಸಹಗಣಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನಾಧುನ
श्रीमरे भक्ति वेदांता स्वामी नाम मिले नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे Okay, so where were we? What happened last to last week? And then Mahaprabhu Sagana Das Goswami. And Sagana Das Goswami and um, what was Mahaprabhu uh, doing? Where was he coming from? Kanai Natshara. And uh, he met Sagana Das Goswami at the house of? Huh? Yeah, And then he met Raghunath Das Goswami, and then what instruction Mahaprabhu gave to Raghunath Das Goswami? We'll connect very shortly. This is just it will take married. a week to connect. Huh? To get married. No, he's already married. <laughs> well, he, he told him. He said angel. Uh, ex anasakta. Um, except whatever is in whatever. Yes. Is so meant to be enjoyed except without attachment. Don't act like a market like false in sheet, like a monkey, but be normal, do your duties. And then he started doing that. <clears throat> then his parents became relaxed. Till then, the parents were like Raghunath Das Goswami was a very rich man, Prabhuji, like um, millionaires at that time, 500 years ago. And he wanted to constantly engage in the service of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But he was married. He, his parents, he was the only hire of his parents' property. So his parents were very much afraid that if he, actually many times he tried to run away from his um, household life to join Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sarkar. But um, his father, uh, what was his father's name? Rene Majumda, right? Govardhan Majumda. Okay, his uncle name was Rene Majumda. So his father was uh, trying to stop him through many guards so that he should not go because once he goes, they know that he's not going to come back. <clears throat> For that reason, actually, they got him married, thinking that maybe the wife will uh, hold him back and then he may not go. But his attraction for them, devotional service and for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was not going down. It was continuously increasing. <laughs> One thing to see is we cannot see him as a normal soul. We cannot compare it to our lives because um, he is an eternal associate of Radha and Krishna. He descended just to assist Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And the moment he met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu once or heard about uh, the Mahamantra and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from the mouth of Haridas Thakur, his attraction immediately grew very high. So that's why he was unable to hold himself. And there's a second time Raghunath Das Goswami met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Shantipur, house of Advaita Charya. Um, and he, he came with only one desire, that this time he is going to go along with Lord Chaitanya. It's not going to go, it's not going to leave him this time. <laughs> he came with that only desire. Mahaprabhu understood and Mahaprabhu told him, now go back. Um, Sri Lord Krishna will certainly pave the way. And Mahaprabhu blessed him by putting his feet on his head. He said, very soon your desire will be fulfilled. You will meet me. When will you meet me? <laughs> when will... Mahaprabhu, what did Mahaprabhu say to Raghunath Das Goswami, when will you meet me again? Sometimes quizzes are good. <laughs> yes, Nagwani Mataji will answer. <laughs> okay, I'm not worried. <clears throat> he said, when I will return from Vrindavan. First time going now, I'll go to Vrindavan. When I'll return from Vrindavan, then you will meet me. And don't worry about how this will happen. Lord Krishna will make arrangements. And saying this, Raghunath Das Goswami was pacified because he knew, I'm going to stay with Lord Chaitanya forever. 
So, you know, when you know that the goal is clear, now nothing will stop me. So for that time, he became very patient. And his father and mother felt like, oh, finally, he will be stable. And then they reduced the number of guards who, was, who were guarding Raghunath Das. <clears throat> this is the last verse I think we discussed today. Dekhi tanra pita mata bada sukha paila tahara avarna kichu sitila haila. When Raghunath Das' father and mother saw that their son was acting like a householder, they became very happy. Because of this, they slackened their guard. When Naguna Das actually took up his household affairs, his parents reduced the number of guards. Clear? So far? Okay. And after Naguna Das Goswami came back, Mahaprabhu, now he will make his exit from Shantipur back to Puri. That is the discussion today. Today we will finish this chapter. Yes. And Prabhupada Shinarish Okay. Meanwhile, at Santipura, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu assembled all his devotees, headed by Abhuacharya, Abhuvaita Acharya, and the Nichanand Prabhu. Embraced them all and asked their permission to return to Jagannathpur. Where was Nityananda Prabhu staying at this point of time? Was he traveling with Chitanya Mahaprabhu? Mm -hmm. No. Where was he staying? Yeah. Huh? Ha, kar da ha. So, are you all kind of, do you all have a feel of the biography of Nityananda Prabhu? No. Really? Simple. The biography of Nityananda Prabhu. Like the outline of the life of Nityananda Prabhu. No. Shana Gopal. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Okay. Five minutes quick overview of the life of Nitai. Where was, where did he appear? How many years he stayed there? 20 years. Yeah. And how how elder was it to Lord Chaitanya? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So um, basically, he left Eka Chakra when Mahaprabhu appeared, kind of around that time. Around that time, and he used to. I mean, there are many pastimes of him in Eka Chakra where he appeared. Eka Chakra probably is uh, four hours from Mayapur, which is the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya. So very, very beautiful village. How many have been to Eka Chakra? Really? Ah. Actually, if you go to Mayapur, my favorite place all over Bengal is actually Eka Chakra. Every house has a car. Here. Every small little girls take a stick and they are powerful. So many cows, one little small girl will manage. <laughs> <laughs> very, very beautiful problem. The roads are actually like kacha roads. Yeah, that's what I think. It takes a lot of time, even though it's four hours. Like, I mean, it takes four hours to reach there, but it's like purely a village. And in that village, there's a huge mansion of his content. <laughs> very, very advanced. <laughs> so you can stay overnight there. And there, it's a very small, like when I stayed for like three days, every day, like three times I'll do Parikrama because it's very small and go, go to all the places. But the, the air there, um, <clears throat> I think I shared, if you go to Vrindavan, everybody greets you by saying, Radhe Radhe. Radhe. You go to Mayapur, they greet you by saying, Hari Bo, Hari Bo. Hari Bo. And if you go to Eka Chakra, everybody greets you by saying, Jai Nitai, Jai Nitai, Jai Nitai, Jai Nitai. So the air breathes Nitai there. Um, <clears throat> and I mean, um, kind of my deepest impression is it was Nitya uh, um, I don't remember, like, I think four or five years back. I don't remember when was that. Uh, when I went to the course in Mayapur, <clears throat> that time I, I went there. 50,000 people. <laughs> Chanting Jain Nitai, Jain Nitai on, on Nitai 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 And when I went to the train station because I was just waiting for appearance day of Nitai Nitai Prabhu and then 
the next day morning i went to train station the whole train station was the whole train was filled with janeta janeta nita is so famous here <laughs> if you go out there in the world nobody knows nita here everybody knows nita <clears throat> um yeah okay and then after nitai left where did he go whom did he went with asanyasi he came and he said please come it's just like uh, uh, i related to two stories one is um vishwamitra muni came to take ram another is uddha came to take krishna same krishna was also around 11 years old when uddha came and took and took and then took likewise the samyasi came and took nita and similar separation is described just like the separation from lord ram or separation from lord krishna likewise separation from nita was felt in ekacha chakra and the father left the body just like dashrath maharaj he left the body and rajwasi did not leave because krishna said i will return they didn't leave because they were thinking of krishna comes back how sad he will be Was seeing that we are no more there, so that's why they were holding their life breath. <clears throat> and then where did he go? Where did Nitai go? He traveled. He traveled. Yeah. Where all did he go? Did you remember some places where all he went? <clears throat> Is Vrindavan? We know he went there. He went to Jagannath Puri. He went to Bombay, Pandharpur. He went to um, uh, Kashi, Varanasi, Prayag, all those places. He went to Tirumala and all the South India places. Basically, he went to Ayodhya and various places. He was just traveling constantly, and then finally he settled in Vrindavan. on govardhan on the bank of govardhan later on he settled in seva kunj there is a place of uh, um, like uh, have you been to vrindavan many of you have been to vrindavan some of you have been to vrindavan mm-hmm. you have been <laughs> so there in vrindavan in seva kunj there is a you know have you heard about radha modern mandir very close to that is the place where nitai stayed and in govardhan also he stayed now where he got initiated Nitai, whom he got initiated by? Lakshmi. Ah, Lakshmi Bhati Tirtha. Where he got initiated? In Pandharpur, where he stayed in a uh, house of a Brahman, with like when he was traveling with the sannyasi for three days. That time, he Lakshmi Bhati Tirtha was very advanced age, hundred plus, so he could barely walk. That time, but he was a devotee of Balram. So Balram came in his dream and he said, "There is a child, and you initiate him with this mantra." He gave him the mantra also, and then he initiated him. Later on, when Nitai left, then Nitai came in a dream and turned into Balram. But he 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 don't know where the Lord left, went. But then he was ecstatic, and then he departed. He he left his body after initiating Nitai. Then he stayed in Vrindavan, and how long was the travel? How long was the travel and stay in Vrindavan? How long was he out from Ekacha Kala? Three days. Three days. He didn't go to Ekacha Kala. He only left at the end to merge into Bankhe Rai deity. But before that, there is no history of him returning. And which year he was? Yeah, when he was thirty-two. That time, Chetanya Mahaprabhu was twenty years old. So all this South Indian tour, and he was not with Chetanya. No, he was alone. That's why when he was in Bengal, he said, "I will show you the way to Jagannath Puri because he knows all the way. He traveled everywhere." So then, after there are many pastimes of Nitai, there is residence of. I mean, there is a. Um, um, he was always jovial. He would play with the children in Vrindavan. He would play with the cows. He had a bathak in Radha Kund. Those who have been to Radha Kund, they know Nitai bathak. There is a place in Seva Kund. There is a place in Govardhan. These three places are known and established in Vrindavan. 
and there are many other places. <clears throat> After that, Nitai heard the news transcendentally that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has started his Sankirtan mission. At that time, what was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's age, manifested age? Sinful man. He was 20 years old because 12 years old, right? Nitai left at the age of 32. So Mahaprabhu was 20 years old. 20 years he started Sankirtan movement. How many years Mahaprabhu performed Sankirtan movement in um, Mayapur, Navadip area? Four, Four years. years, yeah. At the age of 24, he took sannyas and went to Chagannath Puri. So <clears throat> then Nitai went there and for four years, where did Nitai go? Which house Nitai went? And Mahaprabhu came to search for him. Uh, Nandana Chagya. And then Mahaprabhu got a vision and he saw Haladhar Balaram coming in a chariot with a, a club, holding a club with a dvaja. And Mahaprabhu said, go and search. And nobody could find Then he went straight to the house of Nandana Acharya. First meeting is described. And then four years he stayed there. Do you remember any past time during those four years of Nittai? Any past time during that manifested four years in Navadri of Nittai? Any past time? What happened in that four years? The guy made deliverance. What else? That's all he did. <laughs> where, where he used to stay? He used to stay in the house of uh, Shiva's Thakur. And Malini Devi, wife of Shiva's Thakur, would consider him as her son. And there are many intimate pastimes between Nitai and Malini Devi also. <clears throat> then, you know, the crow took that pastime happened there. The crow took the... Huh? A, a party paraphernalia pot. Um, the crow came and took. Then Mali Devi became scared that Shivas does not tolerate any compromise with Lord service. Anything else he can tolerate. So she was shivering. Neta said, Don't worry, mother. And then he told Crow, the crow came. He said, Bring the pot back. The crow bring the brother pot back. Crow flew and then brought the pot back. And Mali said, I'm not impressed. I know who you are. <laughs> so don't think you did a great job. It's a very simple thing for you. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> and then um, Mahaprabhu will invite Nitai for home, to his home, for Prasad. Sachi Mata and will feed. There are many pastimes. Sachi Mata will feed Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu together. And Sachi Mata will see the dream of um, uh, Krishna and Balaram and they turn into God Nitai. And when Sachi Mata would feed in the dream, he will see that God and I are pulling Krishna and Balaram from the altar. Hey, run away from here. Your age is gone. That was proper. This is Kali Yuga. This is our time. We'll sit on the altar. And they say, hey, we are being worshipped here. We are getting food. Run away from here. And Thai God will say, and they are fighting. Sachi Mata got away. Sachi Mata is like, what is happening? Then they told, <laughs> then she told Nimai. And uh, Nimai, that's okay, Mata. But he would not. Give much attention. One time, Sachi Mata cooked something for Nitai and he tried to get threw it out of the window. And Sachi Mata became angry, you know, Nitai cooked so much care and cook for you. And what did you do? Then <clears throat> um, she said, Okay, I'll bring it for you again. And that this time you have to eat. She would treat Nitai just like her son. This time you have to eat. And then uh, when she came back and he was eating the same thing which he threw out of the window, came back in his place. So she was surprised. Many such past things happened. He fought with the crocodile. Uh, then the Vyas Puja of uh, Vyasadev, they celebrated Guru Purnima. And there are many past times that happened during these four years. And after four years, then what happened? Nitai and Mahaprabhu, along with other devotees, they went to Katwa, where Mahaprabhu took sannyas. And then they returned to Shantipur, and then from there they went to Jagannath Puri. And there there is a Danda Bhangalila, where Mahaprabhu went to the temple of Lord Shiva and <clears throat> Nitai hold this stuff, hold this sannyas danda and go into the temple and take darshan and come back. And he came back and Mahaprabhu was, where is my danda? Nitai said, danda? Oh, danda, yeah, now I remember. 
Actually, I see you and you were dancing and you jumped and I hold you back and we both kind of ended up, ended up broken into three pieces. Now, where is Renda? I don't know. <laughs> so, Mahabharata will say, you always do this story. He said, we will not go together. Either you go or I will go first. We are not going to go anywhere together. So, then they went to Puri. Then there is, um, Mahabharata was taken to the house of then Mahaprabhu made a request to search for his brother Vishwaru and then he left and Nitai was stayed back behind and he was preaching and then Nitai stayed almost three years two and a half years in Puri so 32, 36 and around 39 that time he stayed in Puri and then there were devotees who came from Bengal after Mahaprabhu returned from South India to two and a half years, devotees came from Bengal and they were going. Then Mahaprabhu told Nityananda Prabhu that you go. And uh, this instruction, Prati Ghare Ghare Gya Mange, Bhiksha, Bolo Krishna, Bajra Krishna, Kauru Krishna, Siksha was given in Bengal. But this time Mahaprabhu told Nitai, you go to Bengal and you spread the message. So that time there were many associates of Nitai and they went along with Nityananda Prabhu. And this time they went and made their um, base in Kardaha, Panihati. And later on, the Panihati festival also happened when Raghunath Das Goswami, although he received the instruction, Raghunath Das Goswami was received. This comes in Ante Lila after this particular pastime. When so far he has not got, got full mercy of Guru yet. So later on, before he runs away, he get the mercy of Nitai and Mahaprabhu. Then he'll be able to run away. This comes later on Ante Lila. <clears throat> and then for how many then uh, Mahaprabhu stayed for how many more years around huh? around 20 years because 24 years Sanyas manifested past time no? 4 years already passed away 2 years South India coming back attempt to Rindavan so around 20 years he stayed more and Nitai would stay away but Mahaprabhu told Nitai don't come back here but Nitai would still come and then when the second time Nitai came with all the devotees from Bengal, that time Mahaprabhu told Nitai Prabhu that you get married and you preach. That time he settled in Bengal and he married two associates, eternal associates who are Janva Mata and Vasudha. Who is basically, who are they in spiritual world? Mm. One is Revati. Who is the other one? I also don't remember. Huh? Who is the other consort of Nitya I mean, he has many consorts. Chaitanya Bhagavat explains he has his own pastimes. He has many consorts. Huh? Ananga Banjari. <clears throat> Janva Mata is considered Ananga Banjari also. But she is considered Devati also. Because Ananga Banjari is also Balaram. But Janva Mata is considered. Anangamanjari also. Nitai actually, Nitai has Anangamanjari in him. You heard it before? That is That brings his most merciful compassion in nature. Ainda Prabhu says in his book, mm -hmm. just like uh, there is Radha and Krishna Chitane Mahaprabhu, Balram and Anangamanjari in uh, um, Nityan Prabhu. That brings out his compassion in nature. <coughs> And then he stayed and he would he would travel and um, then Mahaprabhu disappeared. Then he still continued preaching during the whole time. Then he went back to Eka Chakra and he spent, it is described, around 40 years in Kardaha because he stayed many years after Mahaprabhu's disappearance also and just traveling and outreach. He also, after Mahaprabhu's disappearance, he showed the whole Navadip to Jiva Goswami. And after Nitya Prabhu's disappearance, he still continued showing mercy to Narutam Das Thakur. How he showed mercy to Narutam Das Thakur? Narutam, some bells are ringing. That is later. That is after they received knowledge from Jiva Goswami and then festival happened. Later. This is in the early ages when Mahaprabhu invested love in Padma Deva. Then Netai told him, go to Padma Deva. When he was like 11 years old, Narutta. Then he went and he received love of God and he came. 
and he showed his mercy to Krishna's Kavirat Goswami. And, and he was there during that festival also, first God Purnima festival. Krishnivas Acharya and Shaman Pandit and Aratandas. <coughs> Gives a feeling about Nitai's outline. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So here, uh, Nitai was there, but he's not traveling with uh, uh, Chitra Mahaprabhu, but he was there because Mahaprabhu came here. Okay, so what happened here? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu assembled all his devotees headed by Advaita and Nityananda Prabhu, embraced them all and asked their permission to return to Jagannath. Now he will move, go back. Because he had met them all at the Santi Guru, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu requested all devotees not to go to Jagannath Puri that year. In this year, don't come there. Why? Because he has a plan. After going, I am going immediately. <laughs> Internally. So. But externally, don't come. We already went. <laughs> if they come four years, yeah, four months, he has to stay. But they won't let him go so early. You will see. Okay. Yes. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, I shall certainly go to Vrindavan from the Jagannath Puri. If you only give me the permission, I shall, I will, I shall return here again without difficulty. I'll come here. Don't come there. But does he come here? He doesn't mm -hmm. come here. He goes to Jharikanda first. Because he thought if I go there, then I want to go alone. So he doesn't come there. <clears throat> but they all go there after Mahaprabhu returned from Vrindavan. Then till the disappearance, every year they would go. So no Andra, Anjana, and Laila. Clapsing the feet of his mother, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu very humbly requested her permission. Thus, she gave him leave to go to Vrindavan. That's very nice. He's actually holding the feet of his mother. Please let me go, mother. Back to TV. He was Sachi Devi. He was sent back to Navadvika. And the Lord and his devotees started for. <laughs> so, Lord and all the devotees who are accompanying Mahaprabhu. Any names ringing? One name? No names? Sarud Dhamudha was there. They are at Ram Kili. Very soon, Ruba will go and meet Mahaprabhu when Mahaprabhu will go to Prayag. Mm -hmm. Then there is teaching Sri Rupa Goswami. Satan will go to jail. Then he will go. You heard that story, right? Satan Goswami went to the jail yeah. you know? and then he was, um, he gave that uh, um, <coughs> Lalach, what do we, like, bribe, bribe to the um, person who yeah. was taking care taking of the care. jailer kind of person. The money that was left by Rupa. And then he went. When he met uh, Lord Chaitanya in Baranasi. So in Prayag and in uh, um, in um, Prayag in Allahabad and then Dasha Shumedha Ghat in Baranasi. Two teachings Mahaprabhu gave to one to Rupa and one to Sanatana. Two months to Satan Goswami and seven days to Rupa Goswami. <laughs> Rupa Goswami got less what he gave everything to Rupa Goswami seven days. <clears throat> so they will directly meet there. They are not with. Right now they are just anxious to run away. So, and later on we will see Rupa and Sanatan send a message to through to just uh, you know Gupchar Bolte. Like, is, where is Mahaprabhu? Has he left for Vrindavan? Then they left Rupa Goswami said, All right, brother, take care. <laughs> <laughs> Give me permission, I'm leaving and he left. Sanatana Goswami would just leave Chivan Bhagra. <laughs> Staying there alone. But he would not go to work. <laughs> he would just leave Bhagra right home. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Anybody else who is accompanying Chetan Mahaprabhu? Any names ringing? <laughs> Govinda is there. Kashishwar is there. Then? Jagadanda Pandit is there, Ramananda Rai is there, Mukunda is there. So they are all going along with Lord Chaitanya. 
Okay. <clears throat> now he's back in Puri. It's very interesting pastime now. Okay. Maybe we'll begin with the all the devotees then came and met the Lord with great happiness. The Lord embraced each of them in great deposit. So many were remained back. Who stayed back? And Brother Buddha Maharaj, but he won't meet. Then who else? <laughs> it's time for Brother Buddha Maharaj to receive mercy. Of, uh, I mean, he received the mercy, but he won't meet so frequently. And moreover, Prada Buddha Maharaj is in Katak. He came to Puri, like in his capital. So, Sarva uh, Bhattacharya comes, who else comes? One very important personality. Gadadar. Uh, Gadadar because he took theta sannyas that I will never leave Puri. <clears throat> this is interesting. I forgot. Ramananda Roy, Mahaprabhu left him in between. If you see, it comes when Mahaprabhu was going and when he was crossing that bridge from um, Orissa to Bengal. That time he told Ramananda Roy, you return. And Ramananda Roy came back and then he met him. So Ramananda Roy, Samavattacharya, Vani Nath Rai. Vani Nath Rai, we know. Who is Vani Nath Rai? <laughs> okay, yeah, there were five Pandavas, one of them. Sikhi Mahiti, uh, Kashi Mishra, was Kashi Mishra? Yeah, superintendent of Puri Temple. Okay. Maybe a lot of names for you, bro. <laughs> there is a big explosion of all of a sudden, but it just takes little time to get into the flow. Then Galada Pandit came. Galada Pandit Shimati Radha Rani. Like Mahaprabhu is Radha and Krishna. Galada Pandit is actually effulgence of Shimati Radha Rani. And there is a very close friendship between Mahaprabhu and Kadavar Pandit. Okay. It was my decision to go to Vrindavana through Bengal, Bengal in order to see my mother and the river branches. So Mahaprabhu is telling to Gadadhar that I decided to go to Vrindavan through Bengal to see because I wanted to see Ganga and I wanted to see Sachi Mata. That's why I went through Bengal. Thus, I went to Bengal, but thousands of devotees began to follow me. So, he's explaining. They're all eager to know what happened. How you return so quickly from Rindavan? So, the Mahabharata is explaining. Yes, Narishra. Many hundreds of thousands of people came to see me out of curiosity and due to such a large crowd, I could not travel very freely on the road. And we saw the glimpse of how many people came to meet Mahabharata. Yes, Prabhuji. Indeed, the crowd was so large that the house and the boundary walls of the house where I stayed were destroyed. And wherever I looked, I could see only large crowd. You have to think twice before you invite Mahaprabhu. <laughs> 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 Wherever he stayed, the house was destroyed <laughs> because so many people came to see this door won't be sufficient. <laughs> Mahaprabhu comes here. Yes, With the great difficulty, I went to town, Ramakeli, where I met two brothers named Rupa and he is describing them. 
these two brothers are great devotees and uh, suitable recipients of Krishna's mercy. But in their ordinary dealings, they are government officials, ministers to the king. Prabhupada is glorifying them. Very nice. Well, Rupa and Sanatana are very much experienced in education, devotional service, intelligence, and strength. Yet they think themselves inferior to strong. This is great point. Mahaprabhu is telling to Gadada, Pandisava, Bhava, and everybody else that they are very mature in very experienced in devotional service, intelligence, strength, and education. That's why Mahaprabhu empowered them to spread the mission through them to the whole world. Very, very amazing. To make the community of these two devotees even life strong, because I was very pleased with them, the Dharma and Dharma. Although I was both very much exalted, we considered both of them and because of both, we found a very small environment. What does Prabhupada define as humility? Not having satisfaction. Yeah, not expecting respect for oneself. That one definition. He gives one more definition of humility. In spite of having all qualities, consider oneself oneself as insignificant. Generally, when quality comes or success comes or there is, you now we go into an external consciousness. It's very difficult to stay humble. But Rupa Goswami and Satan Goswami were full of all the good qualities, but they consider themselves lower than a star in the You have something? No. no question. <coughs> Very humble. Yes. Such as the qualifications of a pure devotion, they can be one may be very optimal, extremely influential, or educated, but if one still feels himself further than a star in the street, one attracts the attention of St. Jacob and one of the other observations. Primary quality, humbleness. So now Satan told me that it's not very advisable to go to Rindavan with thousands of people. From Ram Kelly, Satan Goswami told that. At night, however, I considered what Sanatana had told me. I decided that Sanatan had spoken very well. I was certainly being followed by a large crowd. And when people would see so many men, they would surely rebuke me saying, here is another imposter. I then began to consider that Vandavan is a very solitary place. It is invincible and very difficult to attain. I therefore decided to go there alone or at the utmost with only one person. So he's indirectly telling that none of us are going to come to me now. Marjanda Puri went to Lindar alone and Krishna on the pretext of doing him me granted him in Alone. Means if you, I know this at Mahaprabhu's level and Madhurinda Puri's level. So Mahaprabhu is saying if I go alone, then it's easy to reciprocate from Krishna. If I go with thousands, then it's very difficult. Krishna came and gave milk to Madhurinda Puri because he went alone. I then understood that I was going to Vrindavan like a magician with his show, and he certainly not good. No one should go to Vrindavan with, with so many men. I have therefore resolved uh, to go alone or uh, at the most with one servant. In this way, my journey to Vrindavan will be beautiful. I thought instead of going to Vrindavan alone, I'm going with. So we are trying to beat him up. <laughs> okay. I therefore said, I am and being very educated, I return to the By means? Like shame upon me. Mahaprabhu felt like that. Like, it is not appropriate. 
and then left on the devotee store and brought only five of its properties. Now I wish that you all can be blessed with me and give me a good consultation. Tell me how I shall be able to show the window of my design. Very tricky, my friend. He's kind of manipulating that. Right? You all give me permission now, and you all say you go alone. <laughs> so please give me good consultation, good counseling. How can I go without impediments alone? This is very important. What Mahaprabhu felt, why he could not go to Vrindavan? He asked Gadadhar to go back in the Yeah, he displeased Gadadhar. Gadadhar actually cried. Gadadhar felt unconscious. Mahaprabhu left. So Mahaprabhu was telling, that's why I could not go to Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu is thinking, that's why Krishna did not allow me to go to him. <clears throat> I mean, he came to teach us. When we displease devotees, and if you want to go to Vrindavan, it won't be successful. Vrindavan, we go with the blessings of all the devotees. Or if we like, you know, like... It's just a teaching. This is Mahaprabhu and Gadara Pandit. But if you offend somebody, Krishna won't reveal himself in Vrindavan. Everything is based on Krishna's mercy. Seeing Vrindavan. Vrindavan is a very, very mystical place. So many things will happen, you will be surprised. Wow, what is happening? Why is this happening? Krishna personally lives there. It's Krishna's village. But Krishna will reciprocate when we have blessings of the Moses. Being encouraged by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's words, Gadadara Pandita became absorbed in ecstatic love. Immediately clasping the lotus feet of the Lord, he began to speak with great humility. There's so much love, right? Mahaprabhu is giving to Gadadara. Like because I this piece Gadara, I could not go. So he was filled with ecstatic love out of reciprocation of love. Wow. Mahaprabhu is thinking like that, that I was the cause. And he touched the feet of Lord and spoke with great humility. Gadada Pandit said, wherever you stay is Vrindavan as well as the river Yamuna, the river Ganges and all other places of pilgrimage. Wherever you stay, Ganga, Yamuna and all holy places are there. He is glorifying Mahaprabhu. And this is a fact also. Um, where this verse comes, wherever the pure devotee goes, that place becomes Vrindavan. Where this verse comes. Bhagavatam, where? Mm -hmm. With the love. Good. Uh, who speaks this? This is Maharaj. When Vidura comes back from where? After, you know, doing Mahabharat what he left. Then he went to holy places where he met Maitra Muni and he met Uddhava on the bank of Yamuna and Vrindava. But then when he came back, then Rishi Maharaj says, Wherever pure devotees come, that place become a holy place. Tithi kurvanti tithani. Wherever you go, that place becomes holy. So, <coughs> Dham, <coughs> Dham manifests him itself in five ways. And one of the ways it manifests is to the heart of pure devotees. Because they carry Krishna in their heart. Wherever they go, uh, Krishna is manifesting. <coughs> uh, who is supposed to read? Nadish Prabhu. This was also expressed to the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself when he danced in the Rathayatra. At that time, he said that his very mind was Vrindavan, Mora, Mana Vrindavan, because his mind was Vrindavan, all the pastimes of Rahu Krishna were taking place within himself. So he manifests himself as the Dham. Middle was one, was two, and now Tadama, Vindavan, according to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy, Lord Sri Krishna and his above Vindavan are equally worshipped. You heard this was very favorite, very famous verse. Aradya Bhagavan Brajesha, Tanya Stadham Vrindavanam. You heard it before? No? Okay, now, now you heard it. <laughs> so, um, Krishna and Vrindavan are non-different. 
Krishna and Vrindavan not different. You worship Vrindavan, you worship Krishna. Same. Pure devotees, they worship Vrindavan. Can you give an example? I mean, you read one small book. I mean, it's a big book actually. Um, by Prabodh and the Sarasati. It's called Vrindavan Mahimamrita. He is only glorifying Vrindavan. He said, What do you want? Lust is there, pray to Vrindavan. What do you want? What do you want? Krishna is there, pray to Vrindavan. What do you want? Whatever you want to go away, whatever strength you want, whatever you want to achieve, holy name, taste, pray to Vrindavan. The whole book is about pray to Vrindavan. That was the first time I got a feeling of Vrindavan is actually a personality. And Vrindavan, he gets a Vrindavan grants. And here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Vrindavan Krishna non different. Just like Radha Kun Shivanti Radha is non different, right? Vrindavan Krishna is non different. Krishna's body is compared to Vrindavan. Okay. The internal for itself, like Sarutta Brahmana, did not even come to Vrindavan Dhamma. Sri Pandarika Vajjaniti, Sri Haridasa Thakur, Srinivasa Pandita, Sivananda Seno, Sri Ramananda Raya, Sri Siki Mahati, Sri Mahadit, Mahadeva Devi, and Sri Kangadara, Pandita Goswami never visited Vrindavan. Interesting, right? Neither Roop, no, not Roop. Ramananda Roy, Sarup Damodar, Gadadar Pandit. They are like great personalities. They never visited Vrindavan. So, how many of you have not been to Vrindavan? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? They never visited Vrindavan. I mean, actually, my spiritual master says, uh, uh, you make more progress when you serve Mahaprabhu's mission mm -hmm. than by staying in Vrindavan. And Prabhupada also did not encourage devotees. But Prabhupada would say, go for a month, recharge your batteries and come back. He would say. But our main desire is service. Our main desire is not, like, you know, why we want to go to Vrindavan? Because you want to maybe go deeper in bhajan. But the misconception is, by going to Vrindavan, I will go deeper in bhajan. No. By the mercy of Mahaprabhu Nityam Prabhu, we'll go deeper in Bhajan. And that will happen when they are pleased. I mean, you got everything, suppose. You have the knowledge. And then you're not using it in service. Then, you know, then, then Nitai will say, what about my service? You know, Bhakti Anand Thakur wanted to go to Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu came in his dream and he said, what about my service? Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan. Then there was Akash when he did says, my Lord, you have a purpose here. So when you want to go to Vrindavan without fulfilling the purpose that Mahaprabhu Hitharva want to want us to do, then Vrindavan will not reciprocate also. But you can go for a few days. I will mean, not say you should not go. But Prabhupada, this purport, Prabhupada says eternal Brajavasis. There are like uh, Dalita Devi, Vishakha Devi and Radha Radhi, right? They also did not go to Vrindavan. One essence is Mahaprabhu is Krishna. Mahaprabhu is there, Vrindavan is too. Pudi is then become Vrindavan. Um, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Taking this opportunity, Gadara Pandit said, just now the four months of the rainy season have begun. You should therefore spend the next four months in the Vedama. What is the question? What is the question? Gadara Pandit said, at least three, four months. After remaining here for four months, we will be free to do as they like. Actually, no one can stop you from going or remaining. Yeah. On hearing this statement, the devotee is willing to the devotee to the speaking of the program. The program is a very nice good Stay for four months, my dear. Yeah. Yeah. Being requested by all the devotees, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Edi Kurumi, Jagannath Puri, to hold me during this painful 
Again, they all will invite Mahaprabhu Prasad. Although Lord Anand Reva is always describing the pastimes of the Lord with his thousands of mouths, he cannot reach the end of even one of the Lord's pastimes. So where does Anand Dev lives? Yesterday I was describing this. Where does Anand Dev lives? Where does he live? Uh, in the bottom and the universe are on his hood and what he how many heads hoods he has thousand what does he do with thousand hoods Lord. anybody listens or he just glorified to the air or commander one of them Shivan Bhagavatam describes the great sages from heavenly planets hold Ganga come there and listen Bhagavatam from Anantasis Anantasis is always describing Shivan Bhagavatam but my Guru Mahara says uh, he still cannot describe uh, one moment of what Krishna does. <laughs> and he was describing for thousands of unlimited time. He could not describe the Lord glories are so much. We think what to speak today about Krishna. <laughs> nothing to speak. <laughs> Very limited, right? Because it's not revelation. Ananta says he knows everything. So he's describing the glories of the Lord. Saswai Thakur, you know that person, right? He said, we will release a, I think, weekly news of Krishna. They said, where will you get the content? Weekly, it will be ex like, khadam ho jayega wa jaldi. There is not much to describe. Then he chastised him. He said, you know, this Monday newspapers, such big newspapers every day, so much gossip, full of nonsense. Krishna's pastimes are full of transcendence. These are very limited. That is unlimited. One moment there is unlimited. Here, nothing, no news. And they can do so, why can't we? So he can say, we cannot say that. <clears throat> All right. Chiru Paragunatha Padayala Aas Chaitanya Charita Ka Chaitanya Charita Amrita Kahe Krishna Das Praying at the Lotus Feet of Shiru and Shri Raghunath Always desiring their mercy I Krishna Das Nareshi Chaitanya Charita Amrita Following in their footsteps So that's the end of Madhya Leela 16 chapter And next chapter The Lord actually goes to Vela And next chapter continues for many chapters Throughout the rest of Madhya Leela is that only Remaining entire Madhya Lila is that. Mahaprabhu Nindrava. His tour is described. Jarikanta forest will come. And then when he reaches uh, uh, Rupa Goswami, then teachings of Rupa Goswami. Very deep teaching. Then he goes to Sanatan Goswami, to Sanatan Goswami. And then his tour, two months tour in Vrindavan, everything that day by day what happens in Vrindavan, Mahaprabhu was in there. This is the only instance Mahaprabhu went to Vrindavan. Ante Lila, no Vrindavan. Antalila just mind. He will think of Rindavan, think of various pastimes, but he was saying Puri. Mm -hmm. This is the only mentioned tour. And when Mahaprabhu returns from Rindavan, that's the end of Madhya Lila. Madhya Lila is travel. That's the end of six years. And then the remaining 18 years is Antalila. That's in Puri. Huh? That's in Puri, right? That's in Puri. Yeah. When he stayed at one place. And there comes many things. Passing away of Haridas Thakur. Mm -hmm. The Raghunath Das Goswami meeting back. Rup and Sanathan went to meet the Lord in Puri when he was there. So all those things come in until you. And Mahaprabhu's various meditations and his ecstasies, those all come out of until you. Okay, that's all we have. Get to the end of the chapter. Every chapter we take many months to. I mean, at least one to months we take to cover one chapter. What do you go in detail? Now, were you able to relate, Prabhuji? 
were you able to relate the the flow to some extent last part yeah and the first part is just spontaneous because yesterday was the third this so we just discussed but it goes very slow and it goes step by step and it's all story of mahabharat it's sab chitra charitamrita reading and discussion okay should we machine that namaste narashe